Hello there everyone, Twain Game Collector here bringing you another LEGO Star Wars review. I'll be looking at today, the Resistance ITS Transport. This was released last year for around... I can't remember the exact price. Yep, this ship is... the ship has come from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at the Disney theme parks. So, it doesn't surprise me if you haven't heard of this ship. Hmm? This toy comes with Vimalati, Lieutenant Beck, an astromech droid, and a gonk power droid. Well, here's the box of the ship flying through space, being chased by TIE fighters over the planet Batu. Turn it around. And here we have the ship at the Resistance base, ready to take off. We have the crew working around it. Yep. That's enough about the box. Here's the set. As I was saying, this set comes from from the Disney ride Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance, which is at Disneyland in California, and Disney's Hollywood Studios here in Orlando, Florida. Yep. In the ride, you take one of these into space to go to a new secret Resistance base, but you're captured by the First Order in the process. Before we go over the ship in detail, let's go over the figures. Here we have Vi Marathi. She's a she's a character from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. She hasn't appeared in any movies, but she's appeared in a couple books. She's a character you can randomly stumble upon in the land. She has two faces, as you can see. She also has a small blaster, which is in this crate. We'll go over that in a minute. She has a nice two-colored hairpiece. It's pretty neat. Here we have the First Order Astromech Droid. Yeah, this is an R5 droid used by the First Order. In the ride, you, one of these helps you escape from the Star Destroyer. Here we have Lieutenant Beck. In the attraction, Lieutenant Beck was on you, was with you in the ship when you're trying to get to the Resistance base when you're captured. And here's a Mon Calamari with gray skin. Yep, it's pretty cool. Turn around. Yep, nice figure. The only figure I don't have with me at the moment is the Gonk Droid. Yeah, because I can't remember where I put him at the moment. I have him around here somewhere. But it's just a small brick built Gonk Droid. It's nice for what it is. Nothing too special. Let's go over the ship. Now, in regards to the ride, it's pretty accurate to the one they have on the ride. Here we have an opening cockpit, where you can fit one figure inside. We have two movable guns on both sides of the ship. Yeah, these, sh these guns are used to fight against pirates. Though they're not used in the, in the attraction itself for some reason. Not sure why. Go to the back of the ship. Here we have the back window for the ship. And here we have two more guns on each side, and those are the engines. Turn this around. Here's the other side of the ship. Here we have some opening doors. And that's how much space you have to get the figures in there. Close them up. The ship is ready for takeoff. Now you can open this part up for easy access to the inside. As you can see, for a transport ship, there's really not a lot of space. Like, obviously, every figure is not going to fit in here. You can hold two figures at most on this part. And if you don't put the crates on here, I guess you'll put another figure here. Now, this spot here is for this crate. As you can see, it's four blasters. You get two, two blaster pistols and two blaster rifles included with the set. Is your... Here's your blaster rifle right there. And here's your blaster pistol. Yeah, you get two of those and two of the rifles. Let's put the 10 back in here. See, it's a... Yeah, he'll fit in there just nice. And you're not going to fit every figure, but I'm sure you can fit the gong droid in here too if you try to. Of course, you don't want to put the first order droid in here because he has a, he's not riding the ship. So when you're ready to take off, you just 
close this up, put a pilot in here. Yeah, I'll show you more of the cockpit. There's a printed piece in there. I'm gonna show you on the computer console, but you can't really see that very well. Yeah, there's a small spot for Vimerati or Lieutenant Beck to sit in there. Yeah, it's pretty tight, but it works. The ship is a very, very sturdy piece. Like, you can hold it from just about any angle, and I, I don't feel like it's going to break. It's a nice, well-put-together ship. Now, the one thing I've heard people have complaints about this ship is it doesn't include Hondo Onaka, because Hondo was a big character in Galaxy's Edge. Oh, it doesn't surprise me that he's not here, because Hondo was working on the Millennium Falcon ride, and he wasn't part of the Resistance. He wasn't he, was, he has nothing to do with this ship, so it doesn't bother me at all that Honda was not here. Yeah. Now, final verdict. Is this a good ship? Yeah, I think it's a nice put together ship. Yeah, even if you never heard of this ship or rode the attraction or even know what the attraction is, it's a nice, nice little ship to have for your resistance fleet. Well, it makes, also makes a nice cargo ship or something you know, for your playtime. Have it get attacked by Imperials or First Orders or whatever. Yeah. If you can find it for a good price, I say get it. Because it's. Because I think you'll have fun with it. Yeah. Well, that about wraps up all I have to say about this ship. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Twin Game Collector signing off.